Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, March 4th to the 5th Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node, King of Cups. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. Let's hope this uploads. I did Scorpio first, and that wasn't too bad, so... If this continues to have issues uploading, I'm going to start doing lives so that way they're already uploaded. I think that'll take me less, less time anyway, so I'll be working on that soon. So that way I can go live. I'm not sure what time I'll do it, but I'll let you guys know. Alright, let's see what's up for Virgo. I'm going to pull four cards here, and then I will get a message from Spirit for you before we begin. Energy and time are fluid. So feel free to switch up the roles. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. As you see fit, and know that um, this can be past, present, or future. Page of Wands. One more card. Oh, the Tower. Okay. Let me get this message, Virgo. Seize the opportunity, Virgo. There's an opportunity coming for you, the Ace of Pentacles here, but you've got to seize this opportunity. Mm, yep, this is going to be a surprise. That's exactly what I felt when this came out. Anything? Is this, um, is this in relation to love? Yes. Is this in relation to, it's love and career for this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, let's dig a little deeper. That's always nice. All right, so you got the King of Cups. The King of Cups here, this is who's going to be a surprise to you. This is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. They're saying leap of faith. You may be taking a leap of faith with this individual. Clarifying the King of Cups is the Seven of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it, remember, Wheel of Fortune comes up for you a lot, Virgo, but that's a good thing. Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, and right now Jupiter is in Capricorn in your fifth house of romance, children, creativity, right? Um, so I'm feeling you've got work here with the Three of Pentacles, and you've got the King of Cups. So you've, you've got luck in your work. I think it's the creative, whatever you're doing, um, anything that you do is sort of creative, right? When you really look at it, it doesn't have to be creative just because it's artsy. Anything can be creative, right? It's your spin on a thing. Right, So you have luck in that sector right now with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is number 10. This talks about beginning a new cycle, ending one to begin another, okay? And <clears throat> okay, and this King of Cups is whom you will go on this wheel, you will go for a ride with. I'm seeing you like <laughs> step on um, almost like a standing merry-go-round. What would you call that? They're showing me it, like you're stepping on a platform with the King of Cups and it's like spinning. It's like if this Wheel of Fortune was flat to the ground, you're stepping on it and, and then it starts to turn. And I feel like it's turning a little bit faster as soon as you guys hook up and you go forward. With the Seven of Wands here, you may be a little bit defensive. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Ooh, Four of Cups. Don't miss this opportunity, Virgo. No. Careful of what you're paying attention to. That really is irrelevant right now. Pay attention to what the universe is offering you. Don't miss it. Clarify the Four of Cups here. Yeah. Don't be so busy at work. That's why that Three of Pentacles is here. 
Don't be so busy at work that you miss this King of Cups. Okay? Clarify, clarify the Tower. Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody's coming towards you. I feel that this person, yeah, there's, there's your card. This person will have just moved. This person that you will be meeting from another state, I'm feeling. And they will have just come from, yep, this Five of Cups energy. And this is why they're in the Hermit mode. I feel that they're over, they just got over, well, not just. They got over a relationship and a sort of healing so they're, they were in this hermit sort of energy, decided to move. Yep, and single. They're single and ready to mingle. Virgo, Virgo. You've got both Virgo cards here, right? This is independent, autonomous, abundant, confident, knowing their worth. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. So this person did the healing. They're saying yes. This person did some healing. Two of Wands, there's an indicator again of that distance um, this person is coming from. This is the hair font. This is the card of marriage. This could be the person that you marry. At the very least, make a commitment to, long-term commitment. You may even have a spiritual connection with this individual. Okay? I feel that you're both going to want traditional, um, traditional things. Got something else flipped over? No. Okay, clarifying the Page of Wands here. You've got the Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands. Okay, when this, okay, when this person comes towards you, you may be dating a couple of people with the Five of Wands here, but you, I, I feel like almost instantly cut them out because you know, it's this knowing. Clarify the King of Swords and the Five of Wands. Yeah, Ace of Swords. You, It's like, aha, truth and clarity. Off with your heads. Yep. Wow, Virgo. All right, so what is your advice? I don't know if this is advice, but this is Soulmate Twin Flame. Yep. Definitely one or the other. Definitely with the hair font here. It could be either. Well, Twin Flame is a soulmate. And they're both from a past life. So, yeah. Go for it. Keep. Don't miss it, though. Don't miss it. Get another card for advice. Advice. Eight of Cups. Walk away from what no longer serves you. And I'm feeling it's it's those people. People you're dating, possibly. It could even be people that just no longer serve your vibration anymore. It could be something as simple as that. Now, I want to get advice on not missing this opportunity. Seven of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Okay. This is somebody who possibly is involved with the occult, but I feel this is you because I'm asking for advice on not missing this opportunity. Okay, patience, number one, okay, for this opportunity to come along. Be careful of where you invest your time and energy in and what you invest your time and energy in, okay? Keep that vibration high so that you won't miss the opportunity. The Queen of Wands, remain passionate, remain sexy, remain confident, and go after what you want, okay? Go after what you want, go forward. Okay, Virgo, go forward with excitement. And that way your vibration is kept up. I'm really feeling just keep your vibration high. I think they're just giving you examples as to how to do so, some ideas. But if you, if there are other things that up your vibration, um, like for me, I'll listen to music that excites me um, and go to the gym at the same time, you know, take it out on a machine or something. But um, yeah, so that's your reading, Virgo. I hope you resonated with it please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't uh also 
comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. I want to hear from you guys. If you are interested in a personal reading, the link to my Etsy shop is down below. And if you're interested in donating, go to my YouTube page and there should be a PayPal button there. Make sure that you um, put it in the memo or the note notation that the note indicate in the notes that it is a donation. Okay. So I look forward to speaking with you tomorrow, Virgo. Good luck. And I will talk to you soon.